Good evening. It is 10 p.m. here in Seoul. I am Adi, the AI anchor with the headline news. China's economy slowed in the second quarter, missing growth estimates due to weak domestic demand. Data from Beijing's National Bureau of Statistics on Monday showed that the country's GDP in the second quarter of the year rose 4.7% year-on-year. This is lower than the 5.1% growth predicted by analysts in a Reuters poll and the 5.3% expansion seen in the previous quarter. Retail sales rose by 2%, below the forecast of 3.3%, putting pressure on policymakers to boost the market as they start China's high-level policy meeting, the third plenum on Monday. Semiconductors once again led the increase in South Korea's tech exports last month. Data released by the Trade Ministry on Monday shows that ICT exports in June reached 21 billion US dollars, the largest ever recorded for the month of June. This was driven by outbound shipments of chips also reaching a record high last month. As for the first half of the year, ICT exports recorded the second largest amount of exports on a six month basis. The National Forensic Service informed the police that the tragic car accident near Seoul City Hall on July 1, which killed nine pedestrians, was likely the driver's fault. On Monday, police authorities announced that they had completed their analysis of the NFS report and their investigation into the actual cause of the accident was almost finished. The NFS report stated that the 68-year-old driver, Cha, pressed the accelerator pedal to more than 90% of its capacity. According to the car's event data recorder, the police plan to question Ta again later, as he is currently undergoing treatment for pain. Ta has insisted that the brakes on the car failed to work, causing a sudden unintended acceleration. The U.S. Secret Service is investigating the circumstances surrounding an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump during a rally in Pennsylvania on Saturday. Authorities identified the gunman who attacked Trump as Thomas Matthew Crooks, a 20-year-old man from Pittsburgh, who was killed by the Secret Service at the scene. The FBI says he acted alone using an AR-style rifle, believed to have been bought by his father. Trump was injured in the shooting, but ahead of the Republican National Convention, said his presidential campaigning would continue as scheduled. Following Saturday's strike in the Khan Yunus area of Gaza that killed at least 90 Palestinians, there were further civilian deaths in a strike on a school in the Nusrat refugee camp in central Gaza on Sunday. At least 17 people, mostly women and children, were killed, and 80 were wounded in the Israeli airstrikes on the UN-run Abu Ori Ban school, which Gaza's civil defense agency says was housing thousands of displaced people. This is the fifth attack on a school since July 6. The Israeli military said the operation was against terrorists who triggered the start of the war with their attack on Israel on October 7. That brings us to the end of tonight's AI headline news. Thank you for watching. Good night.